The reasons why you have staged this loan protest? Um, as we have been going around, we have seen how Zambians have uh, really suffered with the cost of living, the high, high cost of living, which keeps rising. And uh, we, we have situations where people only have one meal a day. And when you look at the price of uh, goods, or everything. A tomato costs two kwacha fifty or three kwacha. Onion, one onion costs two kwacha fifty or three kwacha. costs three kwacha. So just to cook beans, you are talking about sixty kwacha. So how will Zambians manage uh, to to you know to meet to be able to make ends meet? As a New Heritage Party, we've been constantly asking the government to address this issue of the cost of living but it seems like they have other priorities and the reason we are protesting is because we want to see them address this uh, begin to address at least if we can begin to see a difference but we are not seeing any difference at all it's not just the people in the compounds it's everybody even yourself when you go into a shop you just get a few things and your money is finished. So how far are we going to go um, as, as Zambians? So we would like to see that um, they begin to address this issue. They are comfortable in their offices. The rest of us are outside. And we just need for them to look at this issue. Many have said it's not only in Zambia they've attributed some of the things uh, to the Russia-Ukraine war. What's your take? When you look at wheat, for example, Zambia is uh, self-dependent on wheat. We don't buy wheat from Ukraine. We don't buy our maize from Ukraine. Yes, that can affect you, but you can do something about it. We shouldn't be giving the excuse that everybody gives just because you can give that excuse. If they can do something about it, they must start to do something about it. Some of these problems are so and which could have, uh, have been attended to, but they are not doing that. They are talking about um, inflation has gone down. Inflation has gone down. If inflation has gone down, what has caused that inflation to go down? They are not explaining. And then, if the inflation has gone down, why is the cost of living going up? That's what we are asking. And we are saying, can they do something about this? <laughs> 